All right, got another multiplayer round with a good layout and a great player, Dust Jock. So we're starting out with uh, Ikigai Enso. And with this wind, I like to go turn glide, ride, you have to turn, fight that wind a little bit. Trying to get down here around the drop zone. This is looking really good. And then it skips off this rock and jumps right on top of the, the berm, which is not really ideal. Uh, especially in a three wind, but I know that uh, I really can't afford to leave any strokes on the table with a uh, dust jock. So I went for it and yeah, I was kind of surprised that dropped in honestly, but really good start. Got a stroke and then a very favorable win here on hole one of uh, IE and got the release angle just right. Looking good as long as it doesn't go too far. And it didn't. Nice tap in eagle. It's got that little gap right there. Always concerns me in that rock too that you can hit and fly OB. And it looks like Deskjock uh, desk uh, stayed in bounds but had to take the birdie. So. And nice favorable wind here. Just going to take my uh, water skip rive. And, oh, that was not good. Really, really didn't want to do that. Almost cleared that wall, was inches from clearing it. And I'm going to run this because I don't want to give him any openings. And yeah, he's already got the birdie. So, Taking my time here, waiting for the wobble to settle where I like it. And whew, good thing you got the birdie. If you got the eagle, that would have made it a little tighter. All right, now the middle section of this uh, layout is not very exciting. Keho Backwoods. Uh, this is one particularly where probably 90% plus of the field takes a, a birdie and Eagle is very rare. Now, there are a couple eagle lines, but I I don't practice them because I, I don't ever throw them. They're very risky. And I think, oh, I, well, I'm not sure what happened. I think he may have tried one of those risky eagle lines, maybe. This is another very boring birdie. So, I mean, it was a two, two of the three uh, courses in the layout looked really good. Uh, this one, I mean, at least it's in the middle. I really don't like when Keho Backwood, particularly the par three is at the end because might as well just call it a day. And this is another one where, you know, everybody's going to take a, a birdie and eagle is very, very rare. I've gotten it a few times, but I mean, you got to be kind of crazy to run this. It's uh, definitely a dangerous second shot, even with a wind, tailwind. All right, so, yep, just taking the twos and moving on. Now we got uh, Maple Hill Gold 18, the hardest hole in the course. I'm going to go with a forehand and just got a bad skip and didn't go very far. So now I'm going to use a strategy that uh, I discovered when I was doing the video for this hole. I'm just going to deliberately throw OB here, and then it's, I'm going to move to the drop zone. So I'm going to take a par, but hopefully if I get this, I can get the par and no more, no worse. And I did. Now I just got to hope that desk job, desk jock gets a par also. And he did. So very low uh, birdie rate on that hole. And then this is a tough one too. I like the turn glide rival on the forehand, but it, it always makes me nervous. And I'm always happy to at least get through that much of the gap and then just barely miss that tree. So that was very nice. Very fortunate.
And we both got the birdie moving on. Last hole. And this is a tough wind. I'm going to take the glide skip drive and see if I can hit this road. If you can hit this little service road. Uh, I went a little too far left and didn't get to where I wanted to go there. But I think I can get the birdie from here. And if I can get the birdie, then I got the win. So we take the warship and yep. And I get the win. So, all right. Hope you uh, enjoyed that. Hope you learned something and we'll see you around the valley.